Was there subject matter that they still wouldn't touch at that time that you tried to get through? Hmm, it's a good question. Well, sexuality was very difficult, and, and the reason I mention that is because Judy, very, very uh, prolific and successful writer of uh, juvenile books, actually. Judy Bloom? Judy Bloom. And we did her book, uh, Forever, is that the title of it? Um, was really a, uh, I, I liked the idea, and I knew uh, Roger well enough by now to say, hey, what would happen if we tried to do this? Because there was explicit sexuality of language. Um, and adolescent, teenage sexuality. But it was in the context that was already in literature, so it was published. And this was when sexuality was beginning to be articulated outside the closet and outside the bedroom. And it was in the life of people and women's liberation, all of this that was going on. Uh, women in film started in 1973, and I became very involved in that. And so there were a lot of forces that were very active and television was never exempt from any of that energy. They were often a mirror of it. We'd catch what was out there and try and get it and play it back. Um, and Roger was great at that, you know, in the same way that Norman would always push it. And if he got past the envelope, then he'd find another horizon and try and see if he stopped. And Roger was the same. He could take an idea. He was unafraid. Uh, but he was a good businessman. But he was at heart. He was a showman. Just at heart, he was. Um, so sexuality, in the explicit sense, was very tough. And I don't know how I got it. I, I can't say I did, but when I Roger uh, yeah, and Judy was, she's very, very protective of her material. Um, it, it just subsequent years has made that very clear. She's had very little that she has allowed to be optioned to go for television, very little. But um, it was, it was touch and go. It was, it was to the, to the race issue as Pittman, not on the same profundity, but it was just testing the parameters and how far, Roger loved that. Now, how far could you push into television that which was in the real world and what we were dealing with? And in a sense, television was becoming a little more reactive uh, to, uh, we didn't have a code then, but advertisers were beginning to say, wait a minute, that's disturbing our, our uh, constituency. Uh, we don't want to handle that. We don't want to deal with that. Whereas Dave, oh, for, Dave Braun, for, Xerox, they understood it. They understood what it was about. Um, and he had not only the vision, but he had also the power, which he never abused. He never abused. So the things that happen that are breakthrough have never, in my experience or to my knowledge, been without someone, some individual, who will stand by the creative force and push it. It was the same with All in the Family. It was the same with Roger in this instance of moving sexuality into the lexicon of television. 